let's take a new file to create the sound spectrum changing the background color of the stage let us make it black and then let us save the file i'm just saving it as sound spectrum we just need to save this in the sound folder let's click to save the file i'm just uh, creating the base class to go with the color uh, sound spectrum so i'm naming this class as sound spectrum itself click ok to create the action script file and we need to save this file now let us save with the same name make sure that the action script file as well as the flash file is supposed to be saved in same folder now we require a sound object because we want to play the song and then we want to create a spectrum for that particular song so to load the song that we are supposed to create a sound object that my sound object name is my song here in this case and we require a channel so we decide uh, we define this channel also here and the channel instance name is my channel and we are supposed to define that one byte array also so which will help us to uh, find the values of the song so we just need to define that one byte array the byte array name is that here i am just taking it as in byte arr so easy to remember i just want to apply that even glow to that spectrum so we just need to define that one filter with the help of that uh, glow filter class so my instance name of that my glow filter is that glow we just require that one filter array also so which will help us to push these values into the movie clip so here in the sander array which is the filter array and we require that one sprite object which is almost equal to that your movie clip object so let's define the sprite object here the instance name of the sprite object is line in this example let us go back to the default function we just need to define that uh, properties for glow because uh, we will not have uh, the default values for the glow we just need to define the basic properties or basic parameters of the glow filter so i'm just going to change color of the glow alpha of the glow blur x and blur y of the glow so it is simple just you need to define the instance name of the glow object and then uh, property glow dot color glow dot alpha glow dot blur x and glow dot glow dot blur y so these are the initial values that i want to apply for and then you need to define that one new sound object here which is supposed to be that my song equal to new sound and then we need to apply that load method to load the external mp3 song as usual that we are supposed to pass the url request so my song dot load of new or new url request then we need to define that one mp3 file name there we just need to include that complete path of the song to load it proper and then now we need to define the filtered filter array we just need to define it as a new array and source for uh, source for this array is glow object so filter array equal to new array of glow and then now we are supposed to apply this filter array to that my sprite object which is line line dot filters is equal to filter array of course we are supposed to add uh, this as a child object to the stage to display let us use that same uh, you know the add child method which will help us to add the object to the display list and now let us go back to the stage that we are supposed to add two buttons one button to load the song play the song one button to stop the song instead of creating that my custom buttons i am just taking the two buttons from components panel so 
So these two buttons are components now, button components. We just need to change the label of each button to identify the user. One is play and second one is stop. Of course that we are supposed to apply that instance names also to communicate with these buttons. To make use of these buttons in action script that we are supposed to apply that instance names. I am just applying that instance name as in play btn, stop btn. Let's go back to the base class. Uh, we just need to add two event listeners to these two buttons. So play btn add event listener as usual that let's go with the default event which is mouse click and my function name so function for this particular button is play song and let's define the another event listener for stop btn and let us define the function a name as stop song so event listeners are ready we just need to define these two functions out of that my public class sorry public function let us define the first private function which is the play song private function and the function name is the play song event is a regular event mouse event now inside this that we are supposed to push the song into the channel and then we need to start the channel let us say that my channel is equals to my song dot play so this will help us to start the song and let us add uh, another event that which is enter frame because we want to update that uh, the line spectrum continuously based out of that you know the song beats that i would like to update the spectrum movement on the screen continuously so to update something that continuously we are supposed to have an event called enter frame Let us start the enter frame event the moment when I click on play button. So that is why that I am taking this event frame, sorry, enter frame inside that play button. Now we just need to add, now we just need to uh, define that another function for stop btn, which is going to stop that my channel, my channel dot stop. And of course that we are supposed to apply the clear method also because we are going to use the graphics class which is going to help us to draw that each line based on that byte array depth. So the moment when I click on stop button that it is supposed to clear the stage which is possible with that graphics dot clear. And as well as that we are supposed to stop that event listener also which is that enter frame event listener. It is very simple in the place of add, add event listener that you are supposed to take remove event listener which will help us to disconnect the event from the function. We just need to define this function now, which is update spectrum, which was assigned to that enter frame event. Event is event. And now inside this function, inside this function that we are supposed to add different methods to draw that continuous lines. Let us use the graphics class to draw that spectrum. So my sprite name is that line, line.graphics dot clear because every time that it is supposed to clear the previous data and should draw the current data. So line.graphics dot clear and then line.graphics dot line style which is going to help us to define the properties for my line thickness alpha color these are all possible i'm just taking that random colors and thickness is you know one pixel and we're supposed to define that move to also which is going to help us to define that starting point of the spread which is supposed to be that complete left and vertical center so that's where i said minus one comma three forty which is supposed to be the vertical center point, horizontal center point and vertical left point. So, so these are the three lines that we are, which we are supposed to take now to start the line, just to start the line. 
Now we are supposed to take that another class, sound mixer. Sound mixer uh, is a class that which will help us to calculate that byte array. So sound mixer dot compute spectrum of byte array. So spectrum's bytes into uh, the byte array. We are just trying to push the spectrum's bytes into the byte array. So sound mixer that compute spectrum of byte array will help us to push the data. So we just need to define that uh, for loop because endpoint is not supposed to be that you know the constant that it is supposed to execute it continuously. I am just taking that you know the for loop. So it is supposed to be uh, uh, 320 because that my stage width is 640. I am just going to multiply this value with i. So then better you take that half of the value. So variable is i and then i is less than 320 i plus plus. Then inside this loop that I am supposed to uh, define one variable to calculate the value and that variable is num in this case num equal to byte array dot read float which will help us to get that you know the values from the array and into 240 plus 240 because uh, value must be that between 242 of 480 so now let us say line dot graphics dot line 2 and then i into 2 and num so which will help us to do it save and test it now Look at that. So the moment when I click on the play button, I could see the continuous spectrum there. The starting point of the spectrum is same and end point is getting changed based on the byte array. This is how that we can create a beautiful spectrum using that byte array. Thank you for watching and have a great day.